diastasis recti kind of hurts, but not really. I mean, it does, but it's not grueling 7 out of 10 pain. Diastasis recti can hurt if you have a hernia with it. Diastasis recti can hurt if you have a hernia and you're pregnant because that just feels terrible. Uh, hernias though, hernias hurt. An umbilical hernia hurts. If you try to do a transversus abdominis sit up, if you try to do an ab program when you have a hernia, it hurts. Actually, as a physical therapist, if my patients try to do strengthening of their abs and they just can't do it because it increases their pain, it is a dead giveaway to me that they have a hernia. And I have to tell you, hernias in adults, females, if they're causing you pain, you have to get that fixed. I'm super sorry. Babies can be born with hernias and they might spontaneously heal. Uh, an umbilical hernia does happen in children. And I oftentimes wonder, I wish we could do a retro chart review and see how many of these babies that have hernias actually have a collagen disorder and possibly EDS. When I am talking to women and I am evaluating somebody who may have a hernia and I might need to refer to a surgeon, I am always asking, hey, did you ever have a hernia as a child? Were you born with a hernia? What about your brothers? What about you? Is this your first hernia? Some women who have a collagen disorder or have had multiple traumas or they had a very, very large baby, they could have up to six hernias. I have patients that have two and three hernias at a time and it really sucks. But I'm telling you, diastasis recti doesn't feel good. It increases, you know, the chance that you're not functional and you're overdoing it and you can have low back pain. We actually know that your thoracic, your upper back pain is actually greater, but it doesn't hurt usually that bad. If your belly hurts really bad and you think you have diastasis recti, you may need to be checked out for a hernia and no amount of abs is going to fix that hernia. Okay. I hate to tell you.